A light lean fish and a buttery lemon caper sauce. That's what's for dinner tonight. And when I say the snapper's fresh, I mean really fresh. We're about 80 miles offshore, right in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. Let's catch some red snapper. We didn't drive two hours out here for nothing. We came out here to find deep water. So right now I'm dropping my bait about 200 feet deep. Now we just gotta wait for a bite. And the first bite of the day wasn't quite what we anticipated. You could say this eel is not in a situation it was expecting. Back to the ocean, little guy. Whew. And as you can tell from this face, my first fight wasn't an easy one. And this is catch number one. Not a red snapper, but about 15 pound red grouper. He put up a fight, as you can tell, I'm still out of breath, but look at him. And that wasn't the only grouper caught. So this has to be the largest gag grouper I've ever seen caught by Jimbo. And just for a size reference, I'm 5'4". This thing's almost as long as me. Look at this. How did it feel reeling this bad boy up? I felt like I had a five gallon bucket on the end of it. <laughs> Pretty soon, the snapper started biting too. Pretty nice one. I guess you could also call this a fitness segment because that was a workout. All in all, a great trip to the seafood market with family. Now back to the kitchen. And here it is, guys. This is what all that hard work was for. Just take a look at this beautiful cut of meat. Red snapper is a delicious lean protein. It's low in saturated fat and also a great source of vitamin B12. And what I personally love about it is that it's a very mild tasting fish. It's not too fishy. It actually has a slightly sweet and nutty flavor. So really the possibilities are endless with how you can prepare it. But what we're gonna do today is give it a light coating in whole wheat breadcrumbs and we're gonna toss it in the air fryer for 10 minutes. That's five minutes on each side at 400 degrees. And what this is going to do is make it nice and crispy on the outside, but keep it juicy and tender on the inside. And the chef's kiss of this meal is going to be a piccata sauce, which is super easy to make, only requires a few ingredients, some of which you probably already have in your pantry. I have my filet on a bed of brown rice noodles with a side of roasted asparagus, then cover it with the piccata sauce. Seriously, this sauce is so good you could drink it. And the last step, a sprinkle of parsley. And there you have it from the Gulf right to your plate. This is basically like a five-star meal, but it only takes a matter of minutes. You should definitely try this out. I'm Devin Cafaro, and I hope you enjoy.